Hi and welcome to AMG workshop. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a stereo microphone for your laptop. For this project we're gonna need a tuna can, piece of thick sponge, piece of perforated sheet, microphone holder, plastic bracket, 4mm rivet, two electric microphones, male to male stereo cable, 3.5mm female jack, some thin wire, and a zip tie. I position the bracket where I want it, then I mark the hole for the rivet. I then estimated the place for the female jack and I marked it. I put the can on top of the sponge, then I outlined it. I did the same thing for the perforated sheet. I salvaged this piece of perforated metal from an old CRT TV that I took apart. My heavy duty scissors I cut around the circle and it doesn't need to be a clean cut. Then I made a cut to fit the wire through. I chosen that piece of perforated metal to make it easy to cut around the circle. Then slowly I cut it to its final shape. And here where I changed my mind about just gluing it on top of the can to press fitting it in its opening. To do so I put it on top of the can and I marked all the axes and cut it. Then I had the idea of giving it a parabolic curve to make it look nicer. For that I grabbed a screwdriver with a round handle and I give it a couple of hits until it started to fit the opening. I straightened those ripples with small pliers. And now it fits in its place. To make the holes for the rivet and the female jack, I sauntered bench their location with a wood screw. Then I drilled them with a 4mm drill bit. Then I enlarged the female jack hole with a 6mm drill bit. And I deburred it. I took apart the microphone holder and I tried its screw on the bracket, but it didn't fit. So I enlarged this a little bit. I forgot to add a washer between the rivet and the can to prevent the rivet from extending through the hole and cracking the plastic bracket. But I guess it's not a big problem, I will fix it with some super glue. I held the capsules with the zip tie and I made sure both negatives are in the middle. I then cut a piece of wire that will be the ground. And I solder it to both negative terminals. Then I cut two other wire pieces and solder them to the positive terminals. 
I twisted the three wires together to make them manageable and to reduce noise. I soldered the negative wire, which is the ground now, to the ground pin of the female jack. Then the other wires to the left and the right pins. I did the painting off camera. I just cleaned the wood acetone and I gave them a couple of white paint coats. And now everything is straightforward. I screwed in the female jack, then I tightened it with pliers. I inserted the sponge and adjusted the microphones to sit on top of it. To cover all the metal grid was a tight fit, so no glue needed. To connect the microphone holder's head to the bracket, I had to change the notch placement and put it with the bracket in the fork. It's kinda tricky, but with the help of a small screwdriver, the nut lined up with the holes. And now it's only the matter of screwing in the tripod and get it to the test. And if you are wondering how it sounds like, as you can see I'm using Audacity to record this test and there is no hissing or humming and the silence and I'm quite uh, happy with the result. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, for more videos consider subscribing and see you in the next video.